We're back at McDonald's because they've got some new stuff that I've not tried and the wife said I should. And I do what the wife says. All what you're about to see cost £14.67. Go on, get out of it. Get out, reviewing McDonald's in peace. There's loads of parks up there. That's right, yeah, you keep driving. I got some fries with no salt, a chocolate and raspberry galaxy pie. Not a fan of galaxy chocolate, it's very, very sickly. Some mozzarella bites, new garlic mayonnaise dip, 70 pence for that. McDonald's in the UK really do need to catch up with the dips. We've had such rubbish dips for so long. Ketchup, barbecue sauce, sweet curry. All right, it's really leaked here. A rich tomato dip for the mozzarella bites. Some sweet curry because it's the best dip they do. The hat trick burger. And a milkshake. Oh, he's taking dog for a piss. People be weird over here, man. People be watching me. Let us start with the fries. Not salted. Very, very hot. Nearly went on my nose. Let's get some salt on them now. Oh, we get to win. Peel here. Imagine I win something. What? See game piece for details, what? Another chance to win, enter code via the McDonald's app to find out. I'll try the garlic mayo, which is new, with the fries, which are an eight out of 10 when they're done this good. So garlic mayonnaise, smells just like your normal garlic mayo. Yeah. That's good. Mmm. That's really good. Very garlicky. There isn't just a hint in there. There's a lot in there. 70 pence is a lot of money for that. I'm going to do the mozzarella bites next. I didn't get a sharing bag because that would be greedy. There's just five of them in there. I'm not a fan of mozzarella. Tasteless, isn't it? Yeah, they're not very good. McDonald's are very big on their cheese bites, aren't they? They've always got a different sort of cheese bite on the go, but these, you taste nothing because mozzarella is tasteless. All I can taste is the, and smell the oil or the like, whatever it's fried or cooked in. And what you smell is what you taste. Hence why it probably comes with this spicy, uh, rich tomato salsary dip which is pretty nice, to be fair. I won't get them again. They're literally, they're literally like a, it's 2.5 out of 10. They're not good. The sun is shining. There's the odd cloud, it's super windy, and now it's raining through. The one time I open my window, and it's absolutely started to chuck it down. This is the reason I'm here. The hat trick burger. There's some weight in there, by the way. I've heard a lot of things. I've watched a lot of reviews of McDonald's. The way they cook their patties, more sear to them, more crunch, hotter, hotter buns, more toasted. So the cheese will be more melted, cooked onions, really making a big deal out of it. And then they come up with the hat trick burger to really showcase it. First thoughts on that. The cheese is melted. It's not very tidy. There's an onion at the side, look. Is the bun more toasted? Let me try and sort this out. Oh, the cheese has made it stick. Come on. There we go. There we go. I mean, they were really busy. Really busy. That's... 
a little bit better looking, isn't it? Cheers. Oh man, I thought it was gonna be tasteless. That was an enjoyable bite. Look, when I bit through, instantly salt seasoned. The cheese felt, yeah, melted. For the first time, probably in my life, the cheese was melted. And that was probably one of the best bites I've had of a McDonald's burger. Look at this weather, man. Crazy. Yeah, this is really nice. I'm gonna go and get that bit with the onion there. The burger is moist and seasoned. It isn't bad. I won't lie to you guys, you know I won't. But I came here thinking, when the wife said, go do that hat trick burger. You should have done it when it came out. And I was like, I know I should have, but I didn't. Cause it's McDonald's. And I don't really like spending money on McDonald's. Regret it. It's the best burger I've had at McDonald's. I'm not saying it's a work of art and all the flavors are thought out carefully and work. It's just a vast improvement on what I've had before. Mm. That has pleasantly surprised me. I would have no problem scoring that 7.8 out of 10. All in all, the hat trick burger is really basic, cheesy, meaty, good. Cheese and meat, good. The good thing about McDonald's this time, because I don't rate the one near me very much, is it was busy. So if it's busy, your food is gonna be constantly on the move and fresh. And if they're doing it right, it will be fresh and warm. It's if they're busy and they're rushing it and it's cold. So I got lucky today. Enjoying a burger from McDonald's is rare, but I enjoyed that. I'm not gonna move on to dessert quite yet. I'm just gonna finish up some of this food. The milkshake, it's not, it's not great. It's just a chocolate milkshake, really thick. But obviously, I've gotta do this now. I just have to. For so many years, I thought it was so weird, but it isn't. I mean, it is weird, but it just tastes good, so sod it. Stopped raining and I'm absolutely mafting now. Mafting. Time for dessert the Galaxy Chocolate and Raspberry Pie. A chocolate flavor short crust pastry pie with a chocolate and raspberry filling served hot. It should have cooled down a lot by now, but these things, yeah, no, they don't cool down much at all. Funny looking things, really, aren't they? When you, when you look at them. All right, here we go. Mmm. Huh. I was expecting not to like it because I tried one last time. Not the apple pie. It was a limited edition. What was it? I did a review on it. I'll leave a link in the description to that video. I can't remember what it was, but it made me feel sick. So I was expecting not to like this one. I didn't think it would be full of chocolate. I don't know why. I thought it would just be... The galaxy was in the uh, in the pastry. Oh wow! Huh, that is really good. Oh my god, I think that's better than the apple pie. It is. That is better than the apple pie. It's got the perfect amount of raspberry to chocolate ratio. Not one is overpowering the other. Mmm, 8.5 out of 10. I want another. Kind of lost for words. Before we go, let's see if we've won anything. Surprise fries, play your game pieces by the 2nd of July. Redeem now, play now, play now. 
Brev, how do I put a code in Brev? Scan. Okay, scan. All right, here we go. Did I win anything? Pick a fry to see if you won. Oh, so we pick a fry. Which one do we want? Um, let's go for the one on the left. That one. I don't know what it's doing. What did I get? A McPlant. Might as well have a bite of that tree. Oh, 